Hey folks, once again, it's Captain James Nelson here with Dude Craft Guitars. Check out that one, eh? Um, sorry if I'm going to be shouting today. I can't seem to find my uh, microphone thing. But uh, anyway, so I'm just going to shout just to go straight into the phone mic like the old-fashioned days. Uh, <laughs> just like your grandpa did. Um, yeah, so that's that's that. Anyway, um, hey, check it out. It's hoodie season. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know if you could tell, but I'm starting to get things straightened, which is probably why I lost that microphone, because you know how it is. When you start straightening things up, you lose things, so just why I usually don't straighten things up. But anyway, yeah, hoodies. I found them. I found found the box of hoodies. They're over here. I don't know if I'm going to crop that off camera or not, but there they are. Anyway, um, yeah, where that big old clunky machine that didn't work used to be. Now we got a desk, and we got a box with hoodies in it. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like a dude hoodie. I get it all the time. I get people say, James, you know, we like what you're doing. We like dude craft guitars. Can't afford a guitar or can't afford another one. Or we got one. We got one t-shirt. And uh, Are you coming out with hoodies or other t-shirts for that matter? Or hats. Yeah. You now we got, it seems to be hoodie season. So we got hoodies. So let me know. The best thing about them, I'm usually not a fan of pullover hoodies because uh, we layer a lot here in Southern California. So it's a little easier to have zipper, but by not having a zipper, I could do this and not scratch up the guitar. Anyway, <laughs> as you can see, we got some other things coming. So these these will be demos here um, in the near future. I've also got another one that's off camera because um, it's resting with polish. I didn't want it up against these guys. This one needs another uh, set of clear coat. That one needs buff. That one needs quite a bit of work. The neck just barely got done. And yes, it is a lefty. So. Check that one out. The two in the back will be stock guitars and will be available uh, eventually because that's how we do stock guitars here. The one in the front is a custom order and it is 32 inch. The other two are 28 and a half. Can we officially call ourselves the baritone guys by now? I'm just asking. Uh, 12, 12 string, 28 and a half. Six string, lefty, 28 and a half. It's a lefty. It will be stock, will be available, and it won't be all that expensive. And... Of course, custom orders, we can make whatever length you want. And play around with shapes a little more. Let's talk about this one. Now that we talked about all these long-scale guitars, this is a short-scale bass. This is the Gwen model, and this is the last one that I have made by hand. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but it does to me. Um, it also should in a lot of ways because it's going to look like it was made by hand. There are some things, there are some... You know, it's been kicking around here for like almost a year, uh, taking me that long to finish because as you know, I put my custom orders ahead and only work on these like on spare time and <laughs> whatever that means. So this one does have like a couple spots where I've had to patch the paint, but what's interesting about it, if you can see, it's, uh, it's not really Monarch and it's not Capri. It's a special blend of orange and it's translucent on the faces. So that is poplar back there. So it's not something that you can easily patch. It's not like you could just go and, and you know, to Home Depot and, and buy this orange, which is weird because it's almost like they're orange. But uh, I'm all over the place. Let me give you a sound tip. It is a short scale bass. It's going to sound like a bass, only plays a little shorter. It's 30 inch. Details going to be over here in the description part of the video, but uh, you've got Seymour Duncan quarter pounder, so it is going to be snappy and bright. Plus, I made sure between the pots and the capacitor, you could also get some good thud. the aggression with this finger and you lose all that dickety tackety stuff that first one I made it won't be the last one but it is the last one that I will be cutting with uh, chisels and rasmins and uh, off a routing template 
So I've, I've already started working on the program to have the robot cut it. Of course, I will be assembling the necks. Um, uh, all the prep board, all that stuff's going to be by hand. I can't afford one of those fancy factory machines that they use for that. So it still will have a lot of personal touches going forward. However, because the build time is going to be decreased, uh, the prices should be fair market value. Uh, this one is going to be priced pretty pretty well for a handmade guitar because of the fact that it does have some dings that I had to patch. So I apologize for those. I, you know, but it's uh, I'm not going to go back to the drawing board on this one. It is done. It is the way it's going to be. It is beautiful. Um, check out the the reverb site for uh, some close-up pictures and you'll see what I mean just how pretty this thing really is and that's it what can I say it's it's a wonderful little bass uh, the best thing about it is it fits in a case um, unlike a lot of short scale basses that don't fit in a guitar case they don't fit in a bass case there and they don't make a bass. I, I made sure that the way I designed these that these actually fit in a case so uh, that's included and Again, ch check out the links below. Please make comments uh, and l let us know what you think of, th of the hoodies. Uh, if you know someone who would like one or you like one yourself. Um, again, I unfortunately do have to uh, charge a little bit for them, but it's going to be a little bit. It, it, won't, it, won't be, it won't be too much. It won't be crazy out there. I think some guys are like 60, 70 bucks for hoodies. Nah, forget that. And, you know, it doesn't have Taylor Swift's face on it, so I can't charge extra. But uh, there you go. So stick around. Um, click the like, subscribe button, all that jazz. Check out the videos in the past and check out the videos coming up. Uh, we're going to have some really neat stuff. Thanks again for supporting Dude Craft Guitars.